Okay, so I wanted to go over a couple of these um, computation problems that we've been having. Um, so I want to specifically look at five, six, and seven, and then a couple on the back. So let's look at five. <clears throat> Remember when we multiply decimals, we reviewed some of this at the beginning of the year. We just multiply like we normally would. So I'm going to multiply my problem just like 6.9 times 8.7. Okay, nine times seven is 63, and we have seven times six plus six, and that's gonna be 42 plus six, which is 48. And then we have eight times nine, which is 72, and eight times six is 48 plus um, seven is 55. So once we add that, we have um, 6003. So we're gonna underline our decimals and we're gonna count how many are behind the decimal so that we make sure we have that many decimals behind in our answer. So we're gonna <clears throat> leave it as it is and it's gonna be 60.03. Okay. Um, our next one is number six. Okay. So this one we've been struggling with. So remember, our first number is going to go inside our division. So 0.3, I'm going to write it as 0.3. Okay, and then on the outside, we put our 4.8. You cannot um, have a decimal on the outside of your division. We want to scoot that over. So how many ever times we do that on the outside, we do that on the inside. And I have a little trick we talked about at the beginning of the year. I said outside, inside, up. So you go outside here inside here and then put your decimal straight up. So now we go with how many times can 48 go into 3? Well we know it can't go in there so we're going to add a 0 and then we know it still can't go into 30 so we add another we put a 0 up top and add another 0. Now it can go into um, 300 and we're looking for the nearest hundredth okay <clears throat> so we have the hundredth spot would be right here, so we're going to have to go at least one more spot past that. So it can go into 300 um, six times. And we got 288. We subtract that down and add another zero and drop it down. Now 48 can go into 120 twice. And it's going to be 96 and um, that's where I'm going to stop because we're already to that thousandth spot. So we would look at this. I'm going to write my number down here, 0 0.062. So this is the hundredth spot, tenths, hundredths. So we look at behind it and we just say five or more or four or less and it's four or less. So we stay down. So we would drop it to just 0 0.06 for that one. Okay, number seven, um, leave a remainder as a fraction. So we're just gonna straight divide it. So 14 will go, won't go into five, but it'll go into 56. Um, I would say four times. Ooh, evenly, good. Okay, 14 won't go into eight, so we put a zero there. And we drop down the other 8, and then it goes in there. Okay, um, 14 will go into 88 six times. We got 84, and it has 4 left over. So we leave it right there, and then we put our, what we have right here, and then we put our remainder, which is 4, over our original denominator, which is 14. Okay, so we can reduce that because it's both divisible by 2, so 406 and 2 sevenths. Okay, let's look at that next page. There's a couple on the next page that I think we're struggling with. Okay, so on these we need a common denominator. So we have a denominator of 8, 9, and 3. So our common denominator would be um, 24, 32. So our common denominator is 72. That's a big one. That's probably our biggest all year long. 
okay? So you have to get the common denominator between all three because I think that's the easiest way. So we would scale up here. So how do you get from 8 to 72? It's 63, and we're going to keep that 2. And then we went from 9 to 72, so that times, times 8. So we're going to get 64 here, and I'm going to leave that 1. And then this one is going to be times um, 24 right 24 times 3 yep so Tom so this is going to be 48 so those are all big super big numbers okay so then we add all of our numerators we're going to add all of these together we're going to keep our denominator the same so we're going to say 63 plus 64 plus 48 is going to be 15 so 7, 13, and 17 is 175. So I have 175 over 72, and they're going to 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to add all our whole numbers. So we add all our numerators, keep our denominator the same, and then add all our whole, num whole numbers. Once we do that, we've got to simplify this fraction. It's improper, so we've got to move it to make it proper. <clears throat> so 175, 72 goes into 175, um, I think just twice, so we'll make sure, but 31, yep. So that's gonna give me two holes to put over to the six. So it makes it eight, and then 31, 70 seconds. So that's an ugly, that's probably the ugliest one we've had all year, but that's what it ends up. Okay, so number nine, <clears throat> it's pretty been pretty consistent with that one. So we can't take a fraction away from a whole number, so I've got to borrow from that whole number, and we're going to make that 5, and that moves a whole fraction over here. And so I'm going to leave it with that same denominator, that 8 eighths. So 8 eighths minus 5 eighths is 3 eighths. And then 5 minus 3 is 2. So our answer there is 2 and 3 eighths. So when you have to borrow, just pull a whole fraction over there in the denominator you need. Okay, number 10, we have to get a common denominator, so I'm going to go with 30. So 7 and 6 thirtieths, because I'm going to say times 6, and then 2 and 25 thirtieths. Now, I can't take a subtraction, so I can't take 25 from 6, so I'm going to borrow again. So what I'm borrowing is a whole, so I'm going to add 30 thirtieths to this, which makes 36 thirtieths minus 25 thirtieths, which gives me 11 thirtieths. 6 minus 2 is 4, and that's as simplified as we get. Uh, multiplying and dividing. I may be going a little fast. Just stop it whenever you need. This is going to be 3 times 2 plus 2 is 8 thirds, because remember we Texas this. Okay, and then we're going to Texas this one also. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 5 is 23. Okay, and I can reduce if it's possible. So it's possible here. I'm going to divide this by 2 and get 4. Divide that by 2 and get 3, and it makes it a little simpler. So 4 times 23 is 92 over 9. Man, these are some ugly problems. And 9 goes into 92 um, 10 times with two nights left over. So we just do that improper simplifying. How many times does it go in there? And then our dividing fractions, we're going to make them improper by Texasing them. So 6 times 2 plus 5 is 17 6. And then 8 times 1 plus 9 is 9 8. And then we can't divide fractions, remember, so we have to keep, change to multiply, and flip our next one. Okay, so we're going to simplify, I'm going to simplify because I can, both of these are divisible by 2. And 17 times 4 is 68. 3 times 9 is 27. Man, these are not pretty today. Um, 27 will go into 68 twice, which is 54, and leave 14 20 um, sevenths. There's your answer. Okay, so I hope this helps, and let me know if you have any questions.